After a beautiful weekend with temperatures in the 70s and 80s, some fog along the lakefront and some scattered downpours yesterday, you're waking up to just gorgeous conditions for your Monday. Temperatures this morning were in the mid to upper 60s. There's some rain showers back in the Minnesota, even some light snow up toward Fargo. But for us this week, it looks to be dry. Thanks in part to a huge area of high pressure. The cold front I'm talking about already making its way into the central part of the state. Behind it, temperatures have dropped into the 40s. Here locally, wow, look at that sky. That's beautiful. 66. The dew point's up there just a little bit at 61 degrees, so humidity at 84%. As that front goes through, though, the dew points will be dropping, the winds get stronger, and unfortunately, the temperatures will be dropping as well. There's that southwesterly wind this morning at 10 to 20. It'll be 20 to 30 this afternoon, becoming west to northwest, and that's going to drop those temperatures uh, into the lower 60s just before sunset tonight. As you notice, though, the sky is clear. Not a lot going on. 75 on Friday it was 66 Saturday, almost 80 degrees on Sunday. Today, 75 degrees, and then that's followed by some chilly temperatures the next couple of days. Your weather headlines. The transition day today as the cold front pushes through. Very windy as well. Cool sunshine for the next couple of days. As I mentioned, though, car wash because it looks like this week is going to be nice and dry and clear so your car won't get dirty. And the pick day, even though today's going to be in the mid-70s, that cold front and those gusty winds, I'm going to pick Thursday. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s, a lighter wind, and plenty of sunshine. Here's what it looks like around the state. 66 in Milwaukee. How about the 40s to the west and that front sliding on through? Our temperatures will be dropping here throughout the mid to late afternoon. 57 in, in Green Lake this morning. It's 68 in Kenosha and 62 in Port Washington. That cold front, though, as I mentioned, knocking on the door and it'll be pushing through early afternoon. The winds will be picking up out of the west and then the northwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. Plenty of sunshine today, but that has nothing to do with it. It's all about that wind direction. and It's going to be ushering in cool, dry Canadian air. Then high pressure settles in, as I mentioned, and that will keep the rain showers and all kinds of weather basically to our west and to our south. We'll have plenty of sunshine this week, even though it will be a little on the cool side. Temperatures this afternoon will be in the mid to upper 60s around Milwaukee and Waukesha, lower 60s to even the upper 50s off to the west as that front pushes through earlier. And then by sunset tonight, everyone is in the upper 50s with that gusty northwest wind at 15 to 30. Tonight, we drop back into the 40s. Could even see a couple of spots inland in the upper 30s. Still breezy. That's going to create some wind chill. We're going to go from 70s to wind chill in just a matter of hours. Then for tomorrow, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s lakefront, mid to upper 50s. Inland. So the forecast for today, once again, 75 degrees with that cold front pushing through temperatures dropping into the 60s. Then it's cool the next couple of days, 53 on Tuesday, 54 on Wednesday. Look at those morning low temperatures, uh, 66 on Thursday for the pick day of the week and the weekend rain by Sunday.